When the first cars were produced, the engineer had little regard for the effect they would have on our tranquil environment. Why should they? There were so few cars on the road. For over a century, the same old techniques have been used to sell cars. But marketing managers are introducing some new ideas to pull in the buyers. We provide luxury cars that are very refined, and that refinement is all about quietness, peace, tranquility. Luxuries today, we feel, are more about abstract concepts like time and space. If selling cars is all about selling lifestyle, then the industry seems to be telling us we all need to reduce our frantic pace of life. Lexus has made the quiet car its trademark. I think people spend more and more time in their cars. And one way of defining that space it's like a third space between work and home. This car advert seems to say you can have it all. By entering this third dimension, you can enjoy all the benefits of owning a car without experiencing its disadvantages. We all want to escape the constant drone of the motor car, which seems to increasingly dominate our time and our environment. With today's roads, the car offering calm and tranquility seems a contradiction in terms. So can the technology really follow through with the advertising dream and give us the peace and quiet we long for? This noise is like white noise. It's constant. It's worse in the holiday times when children at home were outside a lot. It's unbearable. We were led to believe that this was going to be constructed of a quiet, whispering concrete. The car manufacturer can do little to help those with noisy roads thundering past their door. They have no control over road surfacing, but they can insulate the driver. Like Lexus, the Rover MG company is using technology to create peace and quiet for the driver of its 75 model. The Rover 75 is the top of its range, and to compete in this market, the company has to adopt the same techniques used in the luxury market. Foam plastic blocks are part of the cutting edge of quiet car technology. They're filled with a complex polymer foam. The blocks are placed at various intervals inside the car panels. This creates a sound absorbing barrier, protecting the driver and passengers from external noises. This is one of the expanding foam blocks that we use on the 75 to seal off the box sections to stop noise coming up to the passenger compartment. You've got plastic carriers to hold the expanding material, which is the pale material, and these are clipped onto the body shell. And then when the body goes through the paint shop, the heat in the paint shop expands the foam to seal off the whole of the area. Traditionally, cars have always been simply welded together, but in the 75, Epoxy glue is used in conjunction with welding to make the car a lot stiffer, reducing ominous squeaks and vibrations.
the body firmly fixed together, more efforts are made to isolate the driver from the engine noise. The engine mounting brackets here and the engine mount underneath it, that's to isolate the vibration of the engine from the steel body so that we're not transmitting much noise through into the body. The mounts take the weight on each side and then there's two tie bars to react the torque of the engine to transmit the loads in and they're windowed to provide very soft mountings to reduce the noise transmission. We've got a secondary bulkhead here to reduce the noise transmission into the passenger compartment and we've also got acoustic trim on top of that to help reduce the noise. Acoustic under trays are used to absorb engine noise and will be of particular benefit to the environment. But 10% of completed cars undergo rigorous noise testing to ensure that all models are up to standard. The main problem that people find with noise in cars is squeaks and rattles. This piece of equipment will help us to define where the squeaks and rattles are occurring and stop them happening. At the test centre, the rover experiences it all, from earthquakes to cattle grids, to the urban nightmares of sleeping policemen, manhole covers and potholes. Part of our process is an audit of the vehicles. So if we pick up on a dynamic, normal road test audit, that we have a problem, a squeak or a rattle, then we can bring it back into the room here. Uh, we can take the car apart, we can put the pieces back onto this checking fixture behind us and make sure that everything fits the way it's supposed to fit. If it doesn't, then we've got our root cause of our problem. This aluminium shell represents the exact prototype of a Rover 75. Each component, including furnishings, can be tested on this rig to ensure that it fits to a 0.02 millimeter specification. A painstaking process, but an essential part of creating a luxury car specification.